Uh, first got started in the kitchen uh, around 2008. At that time, I was pretty much out of high school, 2007. I started washing dishes in 2008. Uh, growing, just like in the kitchen, just on the different chefs that actually knew the game, actually been around the world cooking, and I pretty much grown fun to what they were doing in, in front of my eyes inside the kitchen. Um, how did you know you wanted to take your skills and start your own food truck? When everybody told me to take it seriously, my mentor said. Biggest challenge, uh, I would say, spending habits. <laughs> that was one spending habit because actually being an employer, employee, um, we get used to our paycheck every two weeks, you know? You get used to that, and being an entrepreneur, yeah, you make money every day, but you also have to hold on to it, you know? You have to be more responsible with your money, you know? Some days you may make money, some days you may not make money, but you will make money, you know? You just gotta hold on to it and be responsible with the money that you make. Surprise, that's support. Support, honestly, the support coming from, you know, neighborhoods and stuff where I grew up in, you know, it becomes a challenge of your support. You know, some people don't believe in you. Some people, you know, they iffy you about, you know, what you're doing and what you're trying to do in life. And the support was pretty, the support is pretty huge from my immediate family, from my friends, to even the strangers in my hometown. And to at least have a restaurant, maybe working on one, and maybe dropping in a few college towns in Florida. Uh, do it young, man, uh, and be ready for a hell of a ride. You know, take it serious. Don't bullshit around. You know, especially if you got people depending on you. You know. Go for it. I would say go for it. If you really have a passion for it, go for it. Don't let anybody stop you with that, man. All right. Thank you, Tony. We wish you the best with your business.